how to set up barriers and oil booms to form an impenetrable barrier to safeguard environmental resources. U.S. Patent 7056059 Please refer to figures 3 and 4. Figure 4 can be followed with modifications by using readily available materials and conventional oil booms. Deceleration barrier before booms. 2 meter wide boom material plastic can be made and deployed rather easily. This should be placed parallel to the coastline to stop or at least slow down the oil. The material should float on the water, follow the tide and waves, so that the oil coming into contact with it will be slowed to very low or zero velocity. Flotation and anchoring. The horizontal plastic barrier could be floated with blocks of styrofoam and anchored with weights at suitable intervals. Placement of at least two sets of conventional oil booms. A conventional boom should be placed about a meter from the inside edge of this horizontal material. Then another set of conventional booms with a longer skirt than the first if possible should be placed another meter from the first set of booms in between the coastline and the first set of booms. The collected oil should then be skimmed or collected or by using some other convenient method and transported away. The optimum configuration as shown in figure 4 of the pattern with three sets of booms parallel to the shore will form an effective impenetrable barrier to the oil. Here is figure 4 of the pattern again. Prototype boom shown in Figure 3 of pattern has been tested at the OMSET testing facility in New Jersey. Many successful experiments on models and real oil have been performed. Successful theoretical studies have also been completed. This kind of barrier may also be used to contain the oil plume if there is enough materials.